Go foolish. Do you mind 30 seconds? You're looking at a live view of Beta as it awaits its 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time liftoff from Pad A at Launch Complex 1 on East Coast. Hello and welcome to the webcast for our eight dedicated rideshare mission, Make It Fly. My name is Eric Tony, And my name is Nora Baker, I'm data analyst here at iSpace. So far, we have successfully launched seven dedicated rideshare mission, bringing over 100 satellites into space. We are committed to offering a great reliable service on a high-performance vehicle to small satellite customers. Smelsa developers can book launches directly through iSpace's website on rideshare missions and will help you capture and remember your payload's journey to orbit with high-definition videos and pictures from its flight. Today's launch will mark a record-breaking second flight of a single, first-stage booster, Beta First Stage, which previously supported the Just the Beginning mission. On Tuesday, April 3rd, Beta launched the Just the Beginning, iSpace 7th rideshare mission. On board this launch were 24 rideshare satellites. Following stage separation, we successfully landed Beta's first stage booster on landing zone 1 or LZ-1. Team in recent weeks has been cautious in checking and testing this booster, making sure it can fly again. Relaunching a rocket that has already delivered spacecraft to orbit is an important milestone on the path to complete and rapid reusability. In terms of payload, inside the fairing are seven smalsets. In today's mission, Beta will bring them to a 200 km equatorial orbit. Currently we're at T-minus 3 minutes and 40 seconds, and all systems are go for on time liftoff this morning. There are a few major milestones to watch out for during our launch. The first stage, the first is stage separation or staging. This is where the first and second stages separate from each other about two and a half minutes after liftoff. After stage sep, the first stage will return back to Drew and attempt its record-breaking second landing on landing zone one. Now while that's happening our second stage will continue on its journey in order to get the satellites to their intended orbit this morning, our second stage need to perform a precise burn. Thanks to the flight computer on board, the second stage can throttle the vacuum IE-1 engine with high precision. With the eventual deployment phase of satellites occurring around T plus 13 minutes and 6 seconds. And now we're just 3 minutes to lift off, and the vehicle remains healthy, all systems are go for on time lift off at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. With that being said, let's take a closer look at the rocket you see on your screen. Here's a live view of Beta, it's our two-stage, liquid-fueled rocket. Beta is approximately 60 meters tall. That's slightly taller than a 20-story building. 
The bottom two-thirds of the vehicle is the first stage, its objective is accelerate the vehicle and pale it through the Drew's atmospheres and then separate from the read of the rocket. And like I mentioned earlier, we're flying today's booster for a record-breaking second time today. This first stage booster first flew on the Just the Beginning mission back in April of 2021. The first stage, fuel loading is ending right around now. The last major milestone is T-60 seconds, it's said that Beta is in startup mode. That means the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers have taken over the launch countdown. And just one second from liftoff, we begin to light the night first stage engines, and we're set for liftoff. beta in startup mode. We've heard that startup call out, and we're now waiting for that final go for launch call out from our launch director. LT, beta is go for launch. We're ready to go. First stage is ready to fly again. All systems are go for launch. Now let's listen to the final countdown and watch as Beta takes our seven small satellites into orbit on its second flight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Once, zero. Ignition and lift off. Let's make it fly again. trajectory. We're 40 second into flight. Beta has cleared the tower, launching seven satellites into orbit. Max Q is the next major event coming up here shortly, which will now be throttling down the engines, the IE-1 engines on that first stage. Max Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees on ascent. Beta through the max Q. So in about a minute we'll have four events happening back to back, that will be main engine cut off, or Nico, followed by stage separation, second engine start one and stage one boost back burn, now the Nico is where we shut down all nine, if those main engine on the first stage booster that you see burning there on your screen. There's in preparation for the second event, which is stage separation or staging. The stage separation is where the first and second stage is separate from each other. And third event, second engine start one, that's where we light up the vacuum engine on the second stage, and it will propel the second stage along with seven spacecrafts on board to their targeted orbit. And the first stage will perform boost back burn, heading back to landing site.
for him. And we've had main engine cut off and stage separation, you can see there from the onboard views. Stage 1 boost back burn started. And that's the call out, we have confirmation that boost back burn startup. Fairing separation confirm. We have confirmation. And you can see it there. Two fairing halves have jettison. And there's the first stage, on the left-hand side of your screen. We're five minutes into flight, first and second stage remain healthy, the first stage just reached the apogee. Next major milestone is stage one entry burn at T plus seven minutes. Stage one and two groups. You can see on your screen, startup of that second of three burn, the entry burn lasts about 20 seconds.
If you just join us, it's webcast of the Make It Fly mission, our eighth rideshare mission. On your screen is a view of the first stage, this booster previously supported a mission. The start off its landing burn in about 30 seconds, you can see those hypersonic grid fins of the first stage. Stage 1 landing burn startup. Have the start of stage 1 landing burn, this burn will last about 40 seconds, you can see it coming down, towards the landing side there, what a beautiful view from the stage 1 camera. Landing leg deploy. Now the beta has successfully returned once again. And we have landing confirmed that beta has returned again. It marked your first started. flight proven booster landing and the fifth successful recovery of beta. Very excited. Congratulations to everyone in the team. And after detonating complete, crew will go to landing site, checking the vehicle. If there's no any issues, we probably would try to reuse it. Follow our Twitter or check iSpace's website for more updates. In terms of the second stage everything is looking good, we're waiting for the second engine to cut off. Second engine cut off. And there's the call out. From mission control, the second stage vacuum engine has successfully shut down as planned, and the nominal orbit insertion. There's another call out, we did confirm a good orbit. Now we have a 90 seconds coast phase, the first payload deployment will happen at T plus 13 minutes and 6 second. We have 7 satellites today.
And we have confirmation. All the payload is successfully separated from the second stage. Very exciting morning. As a reminder, today's launch mark our first reusable orbital launch. Doubtless, it's a historic milestone for us. So with that, we to thank the customers of today's flight, as well as you, the viewers, for turning and watching us. If you'd like to keep track of our future mission, be sure to follow us on Twitter or check out iSpace website for more information. If you would like to book the small satellite's rideshare flight, please visit Rideshare Program website. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Nora Baker. And I'm Eric Tony. Have a wonderful day. This is iSpace Mission Control. Make it fly.